What's going on everybody? Welcome back to SoCal Exploring. Today we're at SeaWorld San Diego and look, new beams to welcome us to SeaWorld San Diego. I'm really digging it. It looks really cool. It's a good addition, showing that SeaWorld actually cares about what they're doing now. Looks nice. I wonder if they're going to add on to it at all or they're just going to keep it the way it is. We got a big hole right over here, probably for where the little lake area is going to be, for like the fishes and everything to swim. So I'm assuming they're digging a lot of these holes. Just for like mini little aquarium sort of things. I don't know in particular what animals are going to be a part of it, but definitely tons of mounds of dirt and holes everywhere. But welcome everybody, back to SoCal Exploring. We're at SeaWorld San Diego checking out what's new, having some fun at Electric Ocean before it ends for the summer. Just overall getting some park updates. We're also going to be getting a couple different shots from the top of Journey to Atlantis because you can see the whole area of Journey to Atlantis. I, or you can see the whole area of Mako on Journey to Atlantis. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So let's go have some fun at SeaWorld San Diego tonight. Should be nice. The weather's nice. Let's go. Now to the side of this Ray Aquarium, they now have single rider for Journey to Atlantis right there where the disability entrance is at. They now have single rider, which they haven't had in the past. So that's pretty cool that they added that for people who just want to ride Atlantis alone. And I'm sure there's a lot of you where your families don't want to get wet, but you do. So single rider, right on the side of this rear aquarium. We are now going to board a journey to Atlantis to get an overview shot of the Mako construction from the lift built. Well, never mind that idea. That line was an hour away. It was ridiculous. So sorry that I'm not going to get that footage today, but we'll come back on a weekday when it's more dead because we are here on a Saturday, probably the last Saturday of summer vacation for all the kids, and it is filled with kids. But right over here, this education gate is going to be the entryway to the Mako area. So I'm sure you'll walk right through there and then a couple steps forward you'll get to the Mako entrance and all the lockers and everything and all the different small exhibits. But just to get an idea of where this education gate is at, right across the bridge of Journey to Atlantis. Pretty simple to find. It'll be good because then a lot more people will come over here and SeaWorld will draw in more guests to this area of the park. So as of right now, no signs of wild arctic getting removed yet. And if you're confused on the term removed, well, yes, there have been rumors speculating that Wild Arctic will have its last season this year. Its last summer season, that is, and that it is going to be getting removed to make way for a potential new family coaster. I made a full video talking about it. If you want to go check that out, click the link in the description. But it is definitely a high possibility. Just a rumor, though. SeaWorld hasn't confirmed anything. But who knows? We may only get to experience Wild Arctic 
for a couple more months. And what I mentioned in this video is that not a lot of people come back here and this is what a weekend looks like whereas a weekend in the central hub area you can barely walk in. But this is what a weekend looks like back here. I know there's still quite a bit of people back here but it's not that many for what the crowds are today overall. Like I'm sure if this, this was a Wednesday there'd be a couple people back here. Every weekend SeaWorld has been having weekend concerts part of their summer concert series in the Nautilus Amphitheater the former Pets Rule Stadium but I believe there's still one more concert next weekend I don't know they have a little board up here so let's go look at it oh yeah so today is Jesse McCartney and they have one more next weekend Jefferson Starship August 31st and September 1st and then I believe the concert series ends so make sure to get out here buy your tickets and this is at the Nautilus Amphitheater, like I said, the old Pets Rule Stadium. The real way we'll see how busy it is is seeing what the line from Manta is. Let's go see how long it is. It says 30 minutes on the board, but that's always not too accurate. Oh yeah, it's definitely a little bit longer than 30 minutes. I'd say about 40 minutes. Definitely a busy day, or a busy night for that matter, here at SeaWorld San Diego. Make sure to get your quick queue though. So you can skip the line. Look at the little pigeons over here on the side rock of Shipwreck Rapids. I don't know what they're doing. But they're just chilling there. Also, I wonder if anyone's riding Shipwreck Rapids right now. They have the waterfall off, so if you want to get not that wet, I'd assume this is the best time to ride it. Even though it's kind of chilly outside. But when it's chilly, they do have the waterfall off, so... The Tidal Twister is finally running. It's been down for quite some time. Last time we've seen him run both lanes is media day. And it looks good now. I, I mean, look good? It, it looks good. You look good. <laughs> it looks good now, finally. Like, it looks like it's running smoothly. Um, but they were having major problems with it. They had to shut it down for like two weeks and pull back up again. But now it's up and going. So that's nice. Nice to see this ride finally up and going. A lot, a lot of people hated on it, but I enjoy it. It's a nice little addition to the park. And like I said, they're running on both sides now, so definitely with the lines, it helps out a lot better. Now the left side over here looks a lot shorter than the right side, as the right side stretches all the way over here. Then again, there's more of a looping queue over on this left side, so we're not gonna ride it tonight, but. We're going to come back during the week and enjoy it when it's dead. Can't wait to take a spin on Tidal Twister again though. It's been a while. And the little projections that they have on it in the middle section look really cool. That's a nice little touch. I haven't ridden it at night. I really want to ride it at night one day. I feel like that'd be a kind of a different experience. Just to give you guys a look at the summer crowds. Pretty insane if I do say so myself. Now Electric Ocean ends in a week I think. It ends next weekend I believe. September 2nd. September 2nd. So next weekend. Right? Yeah next weekend. So it ends next weekend so if you still want to experience it, come out, check it out while it's still here. It's a great event. But next will be a spooky SeaWorld. It will be SeaWorld's Halloween Bash. And that's coming up very soon. You'll get to trick or treat and enjoy all the candy. Are we gonna do it? Of course we are. We're gonna trick or treat here at SeaWorld San Diego with our reusable bats, fighting with SeaWorld's cars. Our own? Our own reusable bats. Our own bombs? No, we're gonna go get them from Disney. Oh, that's awkward. Speaking of reusable bags, let's go check the SeaWorld store and see if there's any new merchandise. Also, right across the SeaWorld store, they have a new little annual pass information and sales booth directly across from the SeaWorld store for those who want to purchase annual passes or upgrade their tickets to annual passes. I haven't released any new collections for the different like color collections like they have the pink slash rose gold. Why are you looking inside of it? To see what size it was. And then right next to it they have a I guess you can describe it as purple potion like Disney. I wonder if they'll start releasing more designs. I'm sure they will. Yep, um, next up is gonna be imaginary it's gonna be yellow. I, I yellow. do like the pink collection though. And I like how they have it a little bit different where they have some 
products here that are in pink and then different products over here that are in purple. These are the reusable bags I was talking about. These are the ones that they sell and promote for the Halloween trick-or-treating trails during the Halloween bash. Signing off from the Mako construction site, the future Mako dive coaster construction site. It's coming in 2020 and it's going to be big. And this whole construction site in general is going to be big. Sorry that I didn't get that Journey to Atlantis footage from up high, but it was very packed. We will be back here doing more SeaWorld updates very soon though, so if you want to check those out, make sure to check us out on YouTube and social media. First on here, subscribe and check us out on social media at SoCal Exploring Media on Instagram and at SoCal Exploring on Twitter. Lastly, visit our website SoCalExploring.com for more detailed theme park updates and haunt attraction news. And the announcement date of Mako will be coming very soon and you all will be the first to know about it. So you want to keep up with our social medias to know when that opening day is. I have been Scott. I have been Savannah. And we are SoCal Exploring. The YouTube channel that you've been watching and that you may be new to, so click that subscribe button. Positivity is key. We will see you all in the next one. Remember to keep exploring. Peace. Everybody, every how I know, I smile at them and say she told me so fine. Everybody, every how I know, I smile at them and say she told me so fine. Everybody, every how I know, I smile at them and say she told me so fine.